Cruz, it's Eleanor McGarry, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Canada. And in this video, I'm going to show you a project using the Wild Flower Path stamp set from the January to June 2022 mini catalog. You'll find it on page 21. This includes 16 images that uh, you can layer over top of each other. It's a two-step Stampin' Set, so you can layer two or more images, one on top of another, to create a final image that has dimension and texture. We are going to be making a card just like this one, but in different colors. This card opens up to reveal a gift card, so it is a gift card holder. There's a mechanism in the inside that opens up to show the receiver a gift card. And I made this card yesterday, but today we're going to be making it again using three different colors, Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, and Granny Apple Green. We're going to start with a card base in Gorgeous Grape, and this base measures 11 by 4 and a quarter, and I've scored it at the center and folded it at 5 and a half. As well, we have the basic white and the Melon Mambo cardstock, and the measurements are on the screen for you to write down. And we're going to start by stamping our basic white layer with the flower images. I will be using Gorgeous Grape and Melon Mambo for this. And these are the images we're going to be using, the trio of flowers and the leaves. So starting in uh, with Gorgeous Grape, I'm going to go ahead and ink up my trio of flowers image. And I'm just randomly stamping it all over my basic white making sure that there's space in between because I'm going to want to stamp them again, stamp that image again using Melon Mambo. So now let's go in with our Melon Mambo ink, filling in those spots that we left. And there's no right or wrong way of doing this. You just want to make sure that there's room to stamp the leaves in between all those flowers as well. And I'm going to leave this spot blank because that's where our greening is going to go. And now that we've done that, we just need to stamp the leaves adjacent to the flowers. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Just as long as you're happy with the final outcome, that's all that matters. And then of course, I've left the middle blank. That is where we're going to be adding our greeting. For the greeting, I've already cut out in basic white and gorgeous grape, a circle and a coordinating scallop circle using the layering circles dies. I love this die set so much. So many different sizes of circles that I can use in my projects. Uh, the greeting that I chose was taken from the flowering tulips stamp set. It's this one right here. And of course, we're going to layer that all together and add it to our card. Let's start to put our card together. Just using my liquid glue, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my white layer to the Melon Mambo cardstock to create a really nice border there. I'm gonna do the same with my greeting, gluing the white circle die on top of the scallop circle to create a really nice border there. That will go on my card here, but I felt it needed something, so I took plain white ribbon that I had, and I meant to color it with Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends, but I didn't have any, so I just looked to see what I had and colored the white ribbon with polished pink and some lovely lipstick, which is retired now, but I was just trying to get a shade that I was happy with to match my overall design. All I did with the ribbon that I had colored was folded it in half there so that it's looped on one side. You can see the loops there and the edges on the other side to adhere it to my circle. All I did was just use scotch tape and um, I wanted it to, to be nice and secure so it wouldn't go anywhere. So I added a second piece of scotch tape so it was nice and secure. Then last step is to add your Stampin' Dimensionals because I wanted that popped up on top of my card. Go ahead and add it there for the finished look, which we will then now glue onto our base card. Nice and 
simple. And then of course now we just have to do the mechanism inside for our gift card to adhere to. Now let's make the pieces that go inside the card that'll hold our actual gift card in there. To do that, we need gorgeous grape measuring four and a quarter by three and a half. You're going to uh, take that and on the three and a half side, you're going to go ahead and score at, uh, the first score is going to be at uh, one inch. And then you're going to move that an inch further along and score the second score mark at one and a half inch. Move it a half an inch along and score at two inches. And then finally another inch along and score. This is your final score mark. It's at three inches. Now before we burnish our score marks, I wanted to decorate it a little bit. So I stamped on pieces of white. Measurements are on the screen there. The same way I did the front of the card. And we're going to glue those onto our gorgeous grape in between the score marks. I want to show you the reason why there's um, stamping behind here is because I made a mistake there and I wanted to I wanted it to be neater so I stamped on the other side. Go ahead and glue your pieces with liquid glue. I like to use my tweezers to pick them up makes it less messy. Gluing the first piece you can see with the score marks where you're going to glue them just in between those marks. And the second piece. And don't worry that it's too long because you're just going to turn that around and cut off the excess that you don't need. And now you can go ahead and take your bone folder and score everything and burnish it so the creases are nice and pronounced. Add glue to the very last fold there. Add your liquid glue and that's, um, you go ahead and seal that together. The ends now are glued together and that creates your little mechanism to hold your gift card. So this is going to get glued inside, but I also wanted to add the same design on the top of this other piece. So again, same idea, using your tweezers, gluing it to the top. You want it to match the other side. I like to use my bone folder to add pressure so that I know it's gonna stay. Add glue to the bottom and the side only. These are the only pieces that you need glue on. Go ahead and add that to your card and add pressure using your bone folder so that you know that the seal or the glue will be secure enough and strong enough to hold that piece. This is a moving card, so you want your pieces to be nice and secure. When you add the second piece, just add glue on the sides and on the bottom. You want that opening on the top free and clear to add your gift card. You're gonna slide it into there. So this is what the final piece looks like. I've only added glue on the side, left the middle free and clear for my gift card to slide in and out easily. And then I wanted to add another thank you greeting on the inside. I just stamped it on a really wide um, piece of basic white, added glue to my card. And the reason why I did it in a long strip is then I can easily just glue it and slide it right or left so that I can put the thank you greeting wherever I wanted on the card. Easy enough to just turn it around, cut off the excess. Just an easy way for you to make sure you have your greeting where you want it in the inside, and then just go ahead and cut off what you don't need. So here are both cards again, same idea, same stamps on each one, just using different colors. There's the inside with your gift card. This card here uses Bumblebee as the base. Same inside there with the mechanism that I stamped on. And this card in the Bumblebee cardstock uses a greeting from the Flowing Flower stamp set that says sending a card instead of a text. Kind of cute, I like it. Those are your two gift card holders. 
I made other cards as well using the Wildflower Path stamp set. This one has an olive, old olive layer on the bottom that I've embossed using this 3D embossing folder. It says hello in many different languages and I tried to glue it onto my card so the hello is in prominent there on the bottom. I stamped the flowers in Poppy Parade, stems in Granny Apple Green, and it has a, a real red ruffled ribbon there. Here it is again, but this time I use gray granite that I emboss with the same 3D embossing folder that says thanks. This actually comes in a set of two, thanks and hello, in different languages, really useful for making cards. There you have both cards with the 3D embossing folders. And then I made three cards that have the same layout. Once you have a layout that you love, you might as well make it several times as I did here. I just use different designer series paper on the left side of each one, but the middles, the centers are all the same. I use the layering circles again to cut these out. And I use different designer series paper for each card. For this card in Old Olive, I used paper from the Artfully Composed set on the left side there. You can see it's double-sided. And then for the card that I made with a basic gray base, I used paper from the Heart and Home designer series paper. I used this side. And then finally, um, on my third card, using Highland Heather as my base cardstock, I used designer series paper from the Sweet Talk set, which is a Valentine's set, but the opposite side is a nice purple stripe. So there you have the three cards. Again, if you have a design that you like, might as well make multiples. Here are all the cards, again, that I've made using the Wild Flower Path stamp set. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. The subscribe button is in the bottom right hand side. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada that uh, can help you with your stamping needs, send me an email. I'd be happy to help you out with everything you need. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy stamping!